Hi, it's Art Teacher Linda, and today I'm at home just like you. And so I decided that I would make a couple of videos just to show you a couple of things you can do at home too. So the first one we're going to work on is a drawing of a bird. It's a bird that I found in my backyard not too long ago. It's called a scrub jay, and it was just a baby and could hardly fly, but it was so cute. So we're gonna learn how to draw that using shapes and lines and a few colors. We're going to draw a picture of a young scrub jay, just like the one I found in my backyard. What we're gonna need is a pencil and a couple of crayons, a black and a blue. And if you have a lighter blue or a gray, we might could use that one too. We're going to set those aside for the moment. And we're going to start by thinking about our scrub jay and some shapes. So here's the picture I'm looking at while I draw my scrub jay. The picture has lots of details, which I'm not going to look at right now, but we want to be thinking about later. But right now I'm looking for the basic shapes the shapes that we always talk about when we draw things and how they fit together and the sizes of those shapes and where they go. So the shape of his head, what do you think? Sure, it's a circle. So I'm just gonna draw a nice circle right around here just to kind of show you what we're thinking. Okay, that about right. And he's got another little circle for his eye right in there. Now the body, comes around here, and what shape is that? What do you think? An oval? I agree. My oval is actually going to go around, and it's going to overlap, or go through the shape of the head there, so they cross over. And you can think about the relationship of where that circle is to that larger oval. The oval is probably at least twice as big as the head. So we need to think about that. So what other shapes do you see here? Triangles? Yeah, I agree. I see several triangles. First of all, the one for the beak, which goes like this, right? And I, if you look closely, it kind of comes back here, almost shaping a diamond there and the middle of the mouth right there. Okay. It's almost like two triangles put together. There's certainly the triangle of his blue wing right here, All right? And to finish off the rest of the body, you could just make a triangle back there. What about his tail? What do you think that shape is? Hmm. It looks almost like an oval. I'm thinking of maybe like a hot dog or something for that shape. Any other shapes? The one that I'm mostly noticing here is when the head and the back connect, they're going to create a little triangle in between to connect those two. And then of course you've got the legs down here, but we'll worry about that in a bit. Where to start with your drawing? Well, I just pull that out and look, there's the circle. There's the oval. That's where we're gonna start. So with my pencil and drawing lightly, here, I'm gonna make a note. Draw lightly. That means don't press too hard so that you can erase if you need to. I'm going to start with the head. And I can go around more than once just to make sure that it's a pretty good circle. And I'm thinking about looking back at my picture and my little sketch here. Look where that circle and the oval, they're almost right on top of each other right there. So that means I'm gonna start my oval right here at the end and they overlap, remember? And make it twice as big. 
And now again, you can go over it again if you need to and don't worry about having too many lines there. We can always erase because you're drawing lightly. All right, do you remember where those triangles were? One was off his rear end here to finish his backside. And then we had the triangle of the wing right there. Just part of that. And then we had the tail, that kind of hot dog shape coming off the back here. Hmm. Do you think it looks good so far? I think that's pretty good. I think my circle is just a little too small though. Let me make it a little bit bigger here. Yeah, oh, where's my eraser? Yep, there it is. Okay, so I can change that a little. I can erase it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that other triangle of its beak right out here. And thinking how that goes back onto the head, the middle of the mouth there. Right? And that circle of the eye, which is not quite in the middle there, but pretty close. Draw the little eye shiny there. And remember how we connected the top of the head and the back? With that line, just a nice curved line connecting those and making that little triangle space there. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and I'm going to erase these lines that overlap because we won't need those. So its head, there's actually a little line here where his head connects to his body and you can see the difference in the feathers there. And I'm going to add that line here that I saw on his chest. And maybe that little white eyebrow up here, because that's going to make him so cute. Okay, so I'm looking, well, let's stop there. And you can stop the video, drawing lightly, and catch up to me. And I'll come back when you're ready to go to the next part. So next we're going to add some more details. I want to see where those patches of different colors are and where to draw in some lines for the feathers. So one more thing I'm going to erase is the end of this oval here. Just so we have kind of a clean area. Now think about the rest of these wing feathers. You see this? And you notice how I'm always looking back at my photo just to make sure that I'm doing it the way I remember it. I'm going to try to get in this little patch of feathers here and a few feathers right there. And I am looking at my photograph as I work. So I see that there's some individual feathers here. I'm just going to try to draw those little lines of feathers as I work. Add some more feathers here. And on this wing, I'm just going to add some lines which show how the feathers lay together. They get a little closer together as they go down here toward the bottom. The same thing on this um, this tail. I show um, some feathers on the bottom, but the lines just kind of lay close together here. Do you see that? Okay. Um, up here, all these feathers are just really kind of fuzzy. And I see a few little lines here and I'm going to draw in some short little lines to remind myself what direction those feathers are laying. Just a pattern. 
and some of the feathers go back and some head down toward the bottom. And that kind of is where it changes from gray over here to more white underneath. And again, there's he's got some white up here on the front. And more gray underneath. So I'm going to put in that draw, kind of draw an outline where that patch of dark gray is. That goes up around his eye here and up toward his beak. Oh, he's got a little nostril there. I forgot that. And some little fuzzy feathers right underneath his chin. Okay, now the only thing I think we have left before we color is to put in the legs. So I'm thinking it's going to be right about here. We're going to add his leg coming down here and just a sort of a straight line. Straight line for the other leg. And then bird feet always have three claws that go to the front. one that goes to the back and that's how they grasp onto a branch. We could even make a branch here for him to sit on. There's three going around the branch this way. One going around the branch the back way. And those claws grasping on. Okay, so now I think we're ready for some color. So like I said, we really only need two colors. We've got some blue in these feathers, but mostly gray up here. So just black, gray, maybe a little blue. And crayons are really good for making different darknesses or lightnesses of a color. Um, if you want to use black, um, when we color in the dark parts, like we're going to start with the beak up here. We're going to press pretty hard to make a nice black, right? And where's I? But if I want to make a lighter gray color, all I have to do is just draw lightly with my crayon and it will make a nice gray, almost like your pencil would. So you can decide how hard to press your crayon to fill in these different areas. So I'm going to keep coloring, you keep coloring, and we'll speed through to the end. Okay, all done. I've added a little blue sky and a little brown in my branch. Can you do that? Remember that you can stop the video at any time if I go too fast and you can catch up with me and just try your best. And if it doesn't work out the first time, try again. I know I did. Have a good day.